OnSong lets you import songs and media from a variety of different sources. Now, you may be wondering how you can import songs from popular websites that you may use or subscriptions that you have. You may also have files in different apps or in different areas of your operating system that are not easy to access from within other apps. So OnSong has created something called the Add to OnSong extension. Let me show you how you can use this powerful feature to import from just about anywhere that you could print inside of iOS or iPadOS. Let's go to Songs and tap on the Import button down in the lower right corner. From there, you can see we have a bunch of different options. If I wanted to import from a different app, I could tap on From Other Apps, and we can learn about the Add to OnSong extension, which we're doing right here. But to use this, we're going to want to go into a different app. So we're going to close this and switch to, let's switch to Notes. As you can see here, I've been working really hard on a song that I've written for one of the most popular employees here at OnSong, Dakota. Now, if I wanted to import this song into OnSong, I can tap on the square with the up arrow to open up the activity view. And here you can see there's an add to OnSong action. If you don't have the add to OnSong action, you could tap on edit actions in the lower portion of this screen. And here you can control what versions of actions you have enabled for this screen. So just turn that on if you need to, and then tap on add to OnSong. That's it. We're almost done. Let's switch back to OnSong by swiping. And OnSong will prompt us if we would like to import that file. Let's hit import. And there it is, my Dakota song. I hope that shows you the power of the Add to OnSong extension. You can import documents, you can import videos, still photos, music files from GarageBand, just about anywhere inside of iOS and iPadOS where you have that square with the up arrow, you can add it to OnSong. And if you're looking for other songs about Dakota, you can even import from the web. Let me go open Safari. Here I've searched for a song on eChords.com and you can see it's right here inside of a web page. Now instead of printing this chart, I can go up to the square with the up arrow and choose Add to OnSong. Now when I switch back to OnSong, I'll get prompted to import again. I have the song Runaway imported into my chart as well, which is not as good as the original, but it might have to do depending on our copyright permissions. I hope that gives you some ideas of how you can import charts into OnSong using the Add to OnSong extension. And if you have any questions, be sure to contact us.